Hi, it's me, Lorinda Peterson again, and I'm gonna take you through my garden to show you what's been going on. Um, the project has kind of been on hold for a little bit because my father passed away uh, two weeks ago, and um, so, you know, we've been dealing with that. Um, he's been sick for a long time, but it still feels like it happened so fast. Um, so it's kind of been on hold and, um, but I grieve in the garden, so um, it helps keep me busy and my mind off of things. And um, I know he's here with me, helping me do it. I was telling him about it in his final days and he was really excited about it. He told me to grow turnips. I've never even eaten a turnip <laughs> and I think that's a fall crop, but I will be planting them for him in the fall. But um, right now, I've been off all week and I've been working in the garden um, and I'll show you what's been going on so far. So just hang on. So this is my backyard. It looks like absolute chaos right now. Um, I just picked up those um, connector blocks for the garden bed. You can see them right there. And I just kind of laid them out. We got back la late last night and um, just kind of set them out. And the cardboard is gonna go um, on the bottom to kind of keep the weeds from going up. And it'll um, break down in about a year or so um, and go right back into the soil. Um, and then I had started to dig uh, a flower bed here. I've decided I'm gonna put a flower bed here and I'm gonna use all the rocks that I've collected over the years to create this flower bed. and some wood and stuff because edging is so expensive and it's kind of a long space and I'm on such a tight budget so I thought I would use what I have um, I have a lot of weeds and and to get that grass out I had started to over here and it was getting a little too late um, and it's a lot and I'm gonna have to bring in some soil as well to fill the garden bed and mix it into this too because I have really clay soil so it's gonna be kind of hard um, to amend it, but um, I'm gonna do it and I trimmed the pomegranate tree. See it's all a mess right there um, And I'm waiting for this to dry out a little bit so I can put it in the compost bin Because I need more brown Brown matter in there. All I've been throwing in there was kitchen scraps and and greenery So there's not much dry and brown in there. So I need to mix it in um, These things are pretty cool I found these at Michael's during Christmas time. They're Christmas tree collars. They go around the base of the Christmas tree. They were normally $70, and I got them for 90% off. I got them for like seven bucks. And they're pretty big. Um, and I'm gonna fill it with soil, and my tomatoes are gonna go in there. I got two of them. I was only able to find two. Otherwise, I would have bought more. Um, and then over there, I'm gonna put another flower bed. And that's where I'm gonna put my peas. Um, I'm gonna, I bought some willow trellis that expands and I'm gonna kind of hang it from the, um, the eaves right there and to make it go down to the flower bed. I was gonna use those old bed posts, um, the footboard and the headboard for my trellis, string some twine through it. Um, but I decided against that. I think I'm gonna use that for my melons instead because I don't want that wood to go to waste. Um, and I think that that wood would be a little more hardy and, and support the melons better. I, I'd rather use that for the melons instead of um, the, um, the willow expandable trellis because the peas aren't that heavy. So I'm going to create another flower bed along the wall right there. Only about eight feet right now. Um, I could expand it later when I have more money. And over there is just a hot mess. I don't know what's going on over there, but I'm not even worrying about that right now. For my lemon tree or orange tree, or half and half tree, if I'm not exactly sure what it is, it has a ton of bees on it right now, so that's really good. Um, I'm hoping those bees, yeah, attracting them there, will help spread them through the vegetable garden as, um, as it progresses. So that's where we are right now. I'll post some videos later of when it's pretty much done so you can kind of see what I've been doing. Hi, Daisy. What are you doing? Daisy, what are you doing? Come here. She's sniffing for bugs. When I was pulling out some of the cardboard yesterday, there were a lot of big bugs under there and she loved chasing them around. She even caught a lizard. It was pretty gross. 
<laughs> but okay well that's where we are right now and I don't know if you can see way over there my messy backyard but I, my seedlings have all sprouted over there I'm letting them get some sun so I can prepare them for coming into the backyard um, and then clean up this backyard and next week I go back to work so I won't have as much time I took some time off after my dad passed so um, I need to try to do as much as I can in these last few days so that I have off and these I have so much flowers left over from my dad's service from the sprays to the flowers that were sent home and now they're all starting to die into wilt so I'm trying to dry them out and um, I'm gonna put them in the compost so you know, my dad can help me in that way as well. The flowers that was given to me will now help grow the food that we're going to eat. So that's kind of neat. Um, so, wish me luck. Bye.